Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about naming alkanes for organic compounds. Organic compounds contain mostly carbons and hydrogens. For your number of carbons in each organic compound, we have what they're called here. So with one carbon, you call it methyl. Two carbons, ethyl. Three carbons, propyl. Four carbons, butyl. Five carbons, pentyl. 6 carbons hexyl, 7 carbons heptyl, 8 carbons octyl, and 9 carbons are nonyl. For single bonds between the carbons, they end in ane. So take the this last yl off of your name over here and replace it with ane when you are talking about the bonds. So say we have a picture that looks like this. So the first thing you do is you count your number of carbons. And we have one, one, two, three carbons. We go back over here and we see that three carbons is propyl. And they're all single bonds between the carbons, so the name is going to end in ane. So you go pro, and then you take the yl off of propyl and replace it with ane. So you get propane. I'll do another example. So you may have a drawing that looks like this. Instead of having all the bonds drawn in to the H's, it'll just look like this. So you start by doing the same thing and you count the number of carbons you have. So you have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So you go over here and you see that for five carbons, it's called pentyl. So you go pen, and then you take the YL off, and because they are all single bonds between the carbons, you end it with ane. So that one is pentane. We'll do one more example. That will be a long one. So we'll go So you're going to start by counting your carbons again. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. So over here you see seven is heptyl. So you go back to your drawing and you write out hep. And we know that they're single bonds again, so you put the ane ending on them. So this compound is called heptane. Now we're going to talk about branches. So that is just one big long branch of carbons. Now we're going to talk about branches coming off the main branch. So you could have something that looks like this. Okay, so you have a compound that looks like this, and first you want to find your longest branch. So you can try going one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not, that might be your longest branch, but it might not be. 
So you can go, so let's start over here at this card, but you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is a longer branch. So now you have this as your main branch along here. So you have this coming off of one and this coming off of one. So you look at those and this, this carbon here is carbon number three. If you start here, it goes one, two, three. So you see that carbon there and you always want the lowest number. So you don't want to start over here because then that's going to be carbon one, two, three, four, five. We don't want that to be carbon number five because if we start here, we get it as carbon number three. So you see that you have a methyl group here and a methyl group here. And we know those are called methyls because they have one carbon. So to write out the name for this here, so they're both coming off three. So you're gonna say three comma three dash dye methyl, and why dimethyl? Because there are two methyl groups. So dimethyl, and your chain has seven carbons, right? So dimethyl heptane. And we're ending at an ane because they're all single bonds. And di because there are two, methyl because there's one carbon in each, and three comma three because that is where they're coming off of the main chain. So we'll do another example. Our next example is going to be a little trickier because it has two different kinds of branches coming off. So it looks like this. So this one is a really big compound. So first, what we're always going to do is try to find the longest chain of carbons we can. So if we start at this carbon here, we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is the longest carbon chain we have in that compound. So now you have this methyl group coming off here and the, this group coming off here. And this group has two C's, so that group is called the ethyl group. So you look at your compound, you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine compound. And you see that your methyl group is coming off carbon number four and your ethyl group is coming off carbon number five. And it always goes in alphabetical order, so we're going to start with ethyl first. So you write 5 dash ethyl dash, and then the methyl is coming off carbon number 4, so 4 dash methyl. And then your carbon chain has nine carbons, which is nonyl, and it has all single bonds. So our last part of the name is nonane. So that compound is called 5-ethyl-4-methyl-nonane. Hopefully that helped you with your organic compounds.